guy's Chris Hedges, and apparently he's some genius social political commentator. And after I watched this video, and this one part of it here has me sort of doubting that assessment that he's a genius. Reparations for African Americans, that's very high on my list because it's not only a matter of justice, it is a matter of white America coming to grips with what they did and who they are. He looks away from the interviewer and to the right and down quite often throughout this interview. So he's clearly reading a script. He's just another one of these paid for talking heads that just gets the narrative out there that the people in control want. And he's probably well rewarded for it. But look, he's choosing to read that script. So I'm going to hold him accountable for the words that he said and ridicule him as he needs to be ridiculed. Reparations for African Americans, that's very high on my list. And even though he doesn't elaborate on why they need reparations, it's pretty much assumed it's because of the history of slavery in the US. But by reparations, I'm sure he just means outright cash straight into the back pocket. Because it's not only a matter of justice, it is a matter of white America coming to grips with what they did and who they are. Okay, so the genius here clearly means only the white people are going to have to pay reparations because he said very, very um, outwardly there that white people need to be accountable for what they did and who they are. Yeah, I'll get into that in a second. Oh, this guy's an absolute genius. God, he thinks things through, doesn't he? Anyway, so like if you're a, an Asian American and have just got there and you know, in the last, say, 50 years, well, you weren't there when slavery was on. Well, why, why are you paying for it? You didn't do anything. And he, and he sort of seems to absolve them from that. Or if you're from, you know, South America, all these illegals coming in, uh, you don't have to pay anything. You're all right. What about all the whites that migrated after slavery was abolished? I mean, you can't hold them accountable. Sure, they're white, but their families didn't have anything to do with slavery. They weren't even in the country. They got there after. They didn't perpetrate any slavery on anybody at all. So the uh, unless, of course, he doesn't care about that. He thinks that just globally, if you're white and you got to America, you have to pay for what other whites did just because of the color of your skin. I mean, that, you know, there's nothing wrong with that concept. But in the Supreme Court, if you could prove your lineage started after in America, started after slavery was abolished said you know in a court of law they really could even though he wants to hold you accountable because of the color of your skin you know it might not get that over the line you know why should you pay reparations for something you had nothing to do with any court would they can't hold you responsible for that so you might have a few problems getting that over the line and you know what about the famous immigrants at the start of the 20th century say from poland the Ukraine, Russia, who, you know, a lot of them went into banking and into entertainment. But do they have to pay? Because, you know, clearly, and, and are they even white? Who knows? I mean, the, the, the Slavic, the Nordic and the Anglos, you know, you, you have to start doing a DNA test really over a period of time, all living in the same country through interbreeding and everything. It's going to be really hard to just try and, you know, uh, or delineate between who's going to pay these reparations and who isn't. It's going to, it's going to get pretty... I mean, what if you, you know, did a genealogy test and you found out that you were... Um, one quarter of your blood was from the slave era day. So what you have to pay one quarter of whatever this tax or however they're going to take this money off, off the whites whose lineage um, dates back to the slave days. Look, I even have questions over, you know, someone whose lineage is 100% back to the days of slavery. But, okay, so they didn't actually have any slaves their family, if they could prove, you know, they lived in, um, up in, say, you know, New York somewhere or Maryland, and, you know, they didn't have, didn't have any slaves at all. Well, they're going to have a very good case because he's saying what they did and who they are. Well, yeah, they could probably maybe get out of this in the court. Go, okay, hey, listen, we didn't have any slaves. We did, he, he says we did something. We didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, and it comes back to this association by skin colour. Look, if you got that skin colour, then you're condemned.
he's not suggesting a, a racist program here is he surely not he's just such a reasonable you know intellectual who's a genius he, he wouldn't do that he would advocate that no way he wouldn't be a hypocrite he would do it hypocritically surely yeah he's talking about who they are well who they are now is not who their ancestors were you know 100, 100 or so years ago so how but by saying that's who they are well that actually gets them out of having to make reparations for the slave days because look how far back in history are you going to go i mean we can go back to the roman empire if you could trace someone's lineage back to the roman empire and say okay your your great 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 whatever was a centurion and he killed a lot of germans in the in the germanic tribes during the heyday of the wars so you know what does that person have to find a, a descendant from that you know particular battle oh, okay listen uh, who i am you know is is a, a centurion's you know descendant so i then have to give you some money <laughs> how far how far back is the intent going with these you know you go back to say the opium wars what do do english then have to go and find a chinese guy oh there's plenty of chinese in england oh listen mate here's some money for the opium wars <laughs> you go, what what do you give me this for well what i did and who i am means i have to give you this money <laughs> this guy is an absolute moron the principle of what this guy's suggesting is just absolutely ludicrous and that's what i'm against otherwise you could just go you know, just flick through the history books and so okay hang on a minute just like i mentioned those two examples you know some event has occurred and then forevermore they just descendants of those people just keep getting money and in, in per per perpetuity now unless their people then suddenly you know you can find some atrocities well hang on we're going to get a bit of a balance sheet is your atrocity worse than mine so you know otherwise you know whichever one's worse if they're both the same then then we're even stevens but you know if your atrocity because you remember yours happened in in say i don't know 1822 and mine happened in 19 38 so you know uh you have to work out the numbers and you know put 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 some kind of magnitude on the atrocity and or, or bad things that they did and then <laughs> come up with a figure yeah just between two descendants is this reparations going to be based on any kind of income assessment you know you could have say you know two kids at a school one guy's white one kid's white who's you know descendants go back to the slave days I don't know if he had any slaves. Maybe, maybe his family did, didn't. And you got a black guy whose descendants go back to the slave days. And, you know, the black guy's dad's a lawyer. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, living in a big home. The white guy's, you know, his dad's dead or the divorce and his mum's, you know, a cleaner somewhere and they're living in a dingy apartment. So is <laughs> his mum going to then, you know, sort of walk over with a wad full of cash? Oh, here you go, lawyer. It's something happened 200 years ago, 150 years ago, whatever. <laughs> Here's your weekly reparation. I mean, is this guy an absolute moron? He's the exact opposite of a genius. Mind you, like I said, he's reading a script. But, and the script's moronic. Look, are people going to swallow this rubbish? Like, he's got a platform here talking absolute garbage. That's uh, the way of the world. It's who owns the media. That's uh, they got their agenda. All right, that's it.